Hey guys, it's me, Jen Sanders, your chef for today, right here on my YouTube channel. I already got you used to this. Uh, I'm seeing that you are loving it, so why not continue with it, right? So I'm super colorful today. I'm like a beautiful day of spring, summer. I don't know, you decide about that. But I'm super colorful because I'm so glad to be in my kitchen just doing some baking. We are going to bake a delicious uh, bread, round bread with a thick crisp. Oh my God, you are going to adore it. Just like from those professional bakeries. Uh, it's just handmade, homemade, and it's going to be great. Believe me when I say so. Uh, but let me tell you first what I'm wearing today. I got a PVC crop top and no it's not from Shane <laughs> you were expecting me to say that it's from Shane but it's from a website called thebylife.com it's super simple I love it no push-up with the zipper in the back white straps super short I said a crop top super crop top okay with this amazing um, spandex leggings in this fabulous color purple I used to hate purple like years ago but I changed my mind now and I love it <laughs> they are super elastic with this wide waistband covering my waist and super shiny and they are from where? Calcedonia of course <laughs> They are the kind of leggings that a gymnast would wear, I guess. They are perfect for a spring, summer, hot day. And of course, you've seen my high heels, green, satin green. They are lovely. And I just told to myself, I gotta do three colors today. Yes, be so cheerful and nice. Anyway, that's about it for this outfit right here on my YouTube. You will see a full detailed uh, video on my Jen Sanders blog, just like I got you used to already. And let's just do the baking, come on. So this bread recipe is extremely easy. It, it just takes like longer because of the uh, time it's gotta stay to rise and then in the oven but you will see what I'm talking about we got flour water salt and dried yeast that's it uh, I have here the dried yeast that I'm going to mix with like five tablespoons of warm water it's got to be warm not hot and I got to like mix it very well with water. Just get to activate right here on the countertop for about 10 to 15 minutes. Of course, you can also add a teaspoon of sugar if you want to hurry the process, but I will leave the sugar aside this time no sugar involved in my bread enough with the sugar in all the breads uh, in the market in the grocery shopping area let's just save it this time okay and i'm going to sprinkle like a teaspoon of flour on top of it let's just put one more little one and i will leave it here on the countertop to get activated for 10 to 15 minutes okay see how beautiful my yeast looks like right now it's just set 10 minutes and it's got like a couple of three minutes more until i sift my flour directly in the mixer bowl right here and this is the part that i do not really like because i make all this flour in my kitchen that i have to clean up afterwards so not very nice okay let's just do it I'm doing this because my I want my bread to be like super fluffy on the inside and with that 
thick crisp on the outside. Oh my, it's going to be perfect. I'm going to um, write all the exact ingredients in the description of this video below. So you will know exactly how to prepare your bread. And if you ever do it, I want pictures in the comment section. <laughs> I wanna see your bread. Feels like it's snowing. <laughs> Only I'm not gonna shovel the snow, I'm going to bake it. See, red day. And I'm going to pour my yeast right here. I'm going to make like room in the center for it and I'm going to pour it right here. Beautiful. I don't even have a spatula, I use my own fingers <laughs> because I'm going to wash them right now, live. No non-negotiable <laughs> paper towels on my countertop. Okay, and I'm going to put my bowl where it belongs here on my mixer. Let's just see. Okay. Oh, and I forgot that tool for making the dough. Wait a second. I have it right here. Right here. Okay, and I'm going to pour like half the water now. It's warm water and start my mixer at a minimal level. Why does it doesn't start? Why? Okay. Just to see, it needs. I'm going to leave 10% of the water here just to see if I need it. Um, if I need the entire amount because it really depends on the flour you are using I got here all-purpose flour but it also depends on the brand because there are flowers that take uh, more water and flowers type of flowers that take less water so I I'm gonna make sure that my dough is not too uh, watery too soft it's gotta be like a balance I'm going to put the salt as well, right now, all of it. What's bread without salt? It, it, it's not tasty, <laughs> it doesn't taste good. <laughs> if you ever had a bread without salt, oh wow. I had one and I never tried it the second time, trust me. Bread without salt is horrible. Okay, it, it does need the rest of the water as well. And I'm gonna put it all. My flour requires it. I'm just gonna let it do its job right now. For about five minutes, not longer. Just as fast. Okay, it's ready now. Let's just get it out. I have some vegetable oil right here on this tray. I have to clean this up. And take the dough out of the mixer bowl. So this is its texture. 
I'm gonna try to get it all from my wall. I really do need this vegetable oil on my tray and on my fingers because I want to model it. hands as well and what I'm gonna do on right now don't worry about my hair it won't fall into the bread <laughs> I'm gonna do a technique that is called by the baker stretch and fold two times I'm going to stretch the dough and fold it like this it's super easy okay and once again I'm going to stretch it. So nice. Such a big satisfaction, like stretching the dough, playing with the dough, and fold it again. One, two, three, and four. Okay, I'm going to leave it like this on my tray and because I have to wash my hands to do this I'm going to show you the, the backstage of a baking scene <laughs> washing your hands every single time because what I'm going to do next I'm sure you notice this plastic bag on the counter. I'm going to put my dough inside the plastic bag. And let it rise for about one hour. I'm going to also close it if I can close it. Okay. So no air can get to my dough. Okay, this is my beautiful dough inside this plastic bag. It's gonna stay for one hour and then you are going to see the next step. So after one hour, I'm just going to take off the plastic bag but not gonna throw it away already because I'm going to do another set of stretch and fold. I'm going to put some more oil on my hands because I don't want it to stick to my hands and it's easier to handle. See how nice it is right now. And another one. It's got these bubbles here in the dough. So great. Stretching and stretching and stretching and folding all over again. And back in the plastic bag for another 30 minutes, okay? Thirty minutes more and we are ready for the oven. Half an hour has passed so quick as the wind. 
We are going to get this beauty out. Look how beautiful it is. And let's just shape it a little bit. Let's give it a round shape. I've got plenty of oil right here. See how beautiful it is? Oh my gosh. It's amazing. <laughs> So I'm going to bring towards the center the edges of this bread, something like this. It's so spongy. Let's turn it. Oops. Yes. I made it round and nice. See? And I am going to transfer it on a tray with some baking, some one baking paper sheet, of course. Let's see. Yay, I did it. I have to mention that I have preheated my oven to 250 degrees Celsius. Celsius, remember, 250 degrees Celsius. And I have a pan with water, like two, uh, one inch, is one inch like that, water in the pan on the upper uh, side of the, of the oven, but you are going to see how I did it. And I'm going to place this lovely bread for about 20 minutes at, one, at, 100, at 250 degrees Celsius. 20 minutes, not more. And you will see how it will cook with the steam that the water uh, turns into. So that water that I have inside will turn into steam and will just cover this bread with it so I can get that crisp, uh, thick um, surface, nice and gold. I'm going to crease it with this knife. Just like this, beautiful. Let me wash my hands for a little bit. You know I'm crazy with this. <sighs> okay. Pat them dry a little bit. And I want you to come near the oven so they can see the steam <laughs> going out from my pan. Okay, remember, 250 degrees, 20 minutes, and then we'll change to 200 degrees. Get the water out for 20 minutes more. Ready? Ooh. Okay, my water is just boiling over there. It's on the upper side of the oven, and I'm going to stick the bread here, down, quickly. 20 minutes from now. So I lowered the temperature to 200 degrees Celsius. I started the program with ventilation and I'm gonna take the water out because I don't need it anymore, okay? Hopefully I don't get burned, wish me luck. Ooh. I'm trying to be fast. Why? This water is boiling, okay? 20 minutes more, what? 20 minutes more and it's going to be done. I can now wait to show you guys what an amazing bread I made today. Uh, almost 20 minutes, okay? Okay, so it's ready. Let's take it out of the oven. Close it. Okay, let all the heat, and not all the heat, but some heat go out because I don't wanna Oh, get burned. Oh, I have such a big bread right here. Yay. Um, I wanted to just come closer. Just I want them to see how amazing. This is how it should sound. A real bread sounds this way. See? 
I just gotta grab it with these gloves because it otherwise it will burn me. But this is my beautiful bread and I will let it cool off for a couple of minutes and then make a section just to show you how amazing it is. Yay. It is still hot, but I wanna risk it and just, just cut a slice, okay? Only one. I, I just want you, I'm gonna put the microphone on the table so you can hear how crispy it is, okay? And how, that's the sound of a well-made bread. This is the look of a perfect bread. This is, this is the type of bread that I would eat every single day on a regular basis. See how crisp and thick it is and how soft on the inside, spongy. Oh, hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so excited that I cannot tell you how excited I am simply. <laughs> I love it. I nailed it. You saw how easy I did it. So go ahead and do it yourself. Just be a baker. <laughs> Bake with me. I'm challenging you. I'm happy, happy, happy. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I cannot wait to have a bite of that. It's still hot. I'm not going to risk it. Although, be careful when you take a bite out of this, uh, out of this bread, when it's especially like, um, when it's, it has this thing, <laughs> when, you, when you get it out of the oven, like in the first hour, if you take a bite, it is possible that it will bite you back. So mind your lips, okay? <laughs> Just be careful, but it's extra good. It's the perfect bread that you want to try and you want to, eat with every single meal if you are a bread eater because I am so thank you for watching I hope you love my outfit today and my recipe as well and make sure you go to my jensandersblog.com for the full-length video of this outfit so see you next time okay thank you for watching